No time for a totem smash. Let's get into the latest beta and preview. This is the version 1.20.70. Point 22. Starting with the experimental features, changes once again to the armadillo. Armadillos have a brand new unrolling animation. Armadillos now randomly peek out of their shell while rolled up. To accommodate these new animations, the time for a rolled up armadillo to stay without threats before unrolling has been increased from three to four seconds now this exact change was also just introduced to minecraft java so when you scare an armadillo now check it out it is completely hidden but along with that if we sprint wait until you see how it pops out it pops out with its head and its hands and then it goes ahead and unrolls now of course if you hit these guys they are going to stay inside just a little bit longer. Remember, when it comes to armadillos, if you hit them, they will stay hidden, I believe, up to 10 seconds. And if I get closer, they get scared. Again, this works a lot better on Minecraft Bedrock compared to Java. But we do have some sad news about the armadillos. The Minecraft Java developer Nenbom said with... 24W06A, this also includes beta and preview, our work on the armadillo is done. It should be as cute as it could be without getting too silly. Let me know how it turned out. On to the wolf armor changes. There is not going to be any more changes to the armadillo, which is sad because I was hoping for a different colored variation option for me personally i'm not too disappointed with this i think what the armadillo does and what it can offer is absolutely perfect it offers the armadillo scoot which can then be crafted into wolf armor it's now time for the developers to improve this feature this feature yes it protects your wolves but i think this needs to be diable more importantly i think you should be able to enchant this because if i ask you the question how does your wolf usually die in Minecraft? The two answers you guys will give me is it dies in lava slash fire or it dies via creepers. You should be able to put fire protection on this. The way you can put likes of mending and unbreaking on your shield. So it's time for the developers to do something that the community wants. Moving on to the vault. The developers said the vault texture has been updated. I tweeted this out. Here is the old texture and here is your new one. I'm going to be honest, it's quite terrible. It just doesn't seem to match the whole design of this. There is no disputing that they do need to change this texture. And the reason why they're doing it is because the vault looks too much like a spawner. But this is not the way to go. So I'll show you guys in game. Here it is here. I don't know. It looks like a windmill. It just it just doesn't seem to add up. It doesn't make sense. Where on earth they got this texture from, I do not know. But what I will say to you guys is if we grab ourselves the key and we open this, the open texture looks pretty decent. But besides that, I think they need to get back to the drawing board with this. They also said if any nearby player has not unlocked a vault, the keyhole will be open. If all nearby players have unlocked a vault, the keyhole will be closed. The breeze. The breeze is only suggested in the type selector when the appropriate experimental toggle is enabled. So I'm guessing that's to do with like the creative side, right? If you typed in breeze... I imagine it might have started to pop up if you didn't have experimental on. As you can see, the spawn egg there. It also says the breeze's attack damage has been tweaked. Now, it doesn't really explain what's been tweaked, what's been changed. We got a forward slash game mode S here. I mean, it does one and a half now. Oh, it definitely seems a lot stronger. Maybe that's just me, but it definitely feels a lot stronger than before. Again, it's pointless that developers telling us about these changes unless they're actually going to tell us how much damage it does. Features and bug fixes. 
Starting with blocks. Cave vines without glow berries no longer drop a glow berry when silk touched. We have a bug report. Here is the bug report and apparently it's been around for a very long time. Here is how to reproduce this. Let's check it out. If I grab this, it has silk touch on. We try and mine these now. You no longer get a glow berry. Blue and black candles now display and drop the correct type of candle. So with this one, if you were to eat this and eat this, it would actually drop an ordinary candle. There is also one more change under the features and bug fixes, and that is that wood blocks is now split into unique instances. For example, oak underscore wood, spruce underscore wood, etc. No need to place this on a sign. In-game tips. They said, you may have noticed that in an earlier preview, we launched a dynamic game tips feature. It will help players learn basic things necessary to explore and enjoy Minecraft, with the tips being mainly aimed at new players. You are not very likely to ever encounter them. However, feel free to leave feedback if you do see them. We have a change log to read. So here is the official feedback page. And basically some players noticed this and some players did not. I had this pop up like a week or two ago. And if we just open these up, you guys can see this is what some players were showing. Most players didn't get this. But again, it's just to hide certain. It's just to show certain players how to do specific things. Typically, this is a new player functionality. Java has it. Bedrock has it, but most of you won't experience it. Moving on to inventory. End portal frame item has been moved to nature category in the inventory menu. Realms. On realms, we no longer will keep the chunks loaded in the end unless a player is in the area. We have a bug report. So here is the official report. I imagine this is just to help mobs generate somewhere else, right? As you can see there, mobs are not generating at all. I don't mess around with Bedrock Realms as much anymore. So if you had this problem, let me know if they fixed it. Fixed a bug where text in the Realms subscription landing page was slightly truncated. Realm stories. Let's read the change log. Again, there's just no need for me to place all of these on signs. There's just been an update to the recent Realms stories. User interface. The updated dev screen is now enabled by default, even when resource packs are applied to the world. And we're going to try this out. So if I was to go to forward slash game mode S and I die now, haha, I use a resource pack that hides all the beta slash preview text, just a lot cleaner to look at. But now if you die in your world, uh, yes it will actually pop up with the new death screen. The grid slash list layout button in the new play screen now retains the selected layout mode on restart. And this is all to do with the new UI. So if you switch to this and you went ahead and restarted your game, what it would do is go back to the older UI. Although this UI, even for me, is still relatively laggy. The feedback button in the friends drawer in the new play screen now leads to the correct feedback page. World generation fixed a bug that could sometimes prevent the stronghold portal room from being generated. We have a bug report. This goes back to 2016. It's been a problem since 1.0.0, 1.0.3, all of these versions where the room just does not generate at all. And your eyes don't take you to where they should. Even this picture right here shows they didn't exist. And graphical shaders fixed a crash on Android devices when entering deferred technical preview worlds. Fixed a circular visual artifact that could occur when using the new point light shadows feature in the deferred technical preview. So this is all to do with the deferred technical preview and the graphics options. Basically, if you had these on, you know, the torches I showed you guys last week, for example. Let's try and find a torch if we can. We showed you guys outside some of the buildings like there would be circles on the floor, especially if you were far away. So they've updated that. Plus shaders 
It's starting to look so much cleaner on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Besides that, we have some technical updates to API blocks, components, and editor modes. If you're interested in the technical side, the link is down below.